Hey friend. Hey friend. Hey friend. Yes. <laughs> hey everybody, and welcome to our show. Let's meet you guys. We hope y'all are having a good week so far, and if not, then we hope our show, you know, can make you feel just a little bit better. Yeah. Yes. You know. So before we start with our show, we would like to thank Awen Radio yes. for giving us this wonderful opportunity <laughs> to work with Bless. them Bless. and, you know, be a part of, you know, the Awen family. Yes. You know, it is our first time doing something like this, so... We hope that we'll be able to do well, and hopefully, we won't bore you guys to death. Hopefully, we don't want that. <laughs> hopefully, this show, you will love, like this show. Yes. So, we've got a lot to talk about today, but first, let's talk a little bit about us and, you know, how we got to K-pop, you know, for the, for the listeners out there. Right? Right, 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 right. right. So, we'll start off introducing ourselves by saying our names and, you know, something interesting about ourselves, and then briefly say how we got into K-pop. So, I guess I'll start off first. And you are? All right. <laughs> What's your name, Eager? So, my name... <laughs> Girl. <laughs> right. My name's Ashley. I like long walks on the beach. Oh, man. <laughs> Girl. Please. There's not a dating show. I right? know. Great. And if you choose me... No, okay. <laughs> Well, my name's Ashley. I'm the youngest in the family. And Mocking. yes, the mock. <laughs> and my whole family should know this one fact about me. Oh yes, I know. I love me some pizza. <laughs> Who doesn't love pizza though? Like <laughs> I love pizza too, but this girl man, she loves She wants it all day every day. <laughs> girl, you ain't mine. <laughs> <laughs> and she make me want it oh, every day too. Glory. <laughs> But yes, um, a little brief story of how I got into K-pop. I got around, I got into it around like 2005, 2006. And the first artists that I remember like listening to and watching were like Rain and Seven and TVXQ, Super Junior, and of course Boa. Like who, who doesn't know Boa? Like, Mm -hmm. yeah, come on. But it wasn't until 2006 that I really got into K-pop by the group Big Bang, which is my ultimate boy group, K-pop boy group. Yeah. So, you know, like back then I used to listen to like a lot of R&B and hip-hop music. So when I heard about Big Bang, I got really interested in them. And yeah, so the rest is history. Yeah. And yeah, that's how I got into yeah. K-pop. All right. And, and your who, name is? Who is you now? My name be Julie. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. Well, I am Julie. And, you know, I got into K-pop around the same time as Ashley, you know, 2005, 2006. And one fact about me is that I love Julie. green tea. I knew she was going to say I that. Know. I know. Especially I know. matcha, which is, yes, you know, I love the matcha. sweeter, milky version yeah <laughs> yes the, the powder yes the yes. powder is so good i just love it um, i just mm-hmm. love it Me i drink too. i try to drink green tea every day you know especially because at night because you know it just makes you feel good you know green tea is good for you healthy and good for you and the first artist i think i remember it was um boa because i remember i saw one of her Japanese songs first because, you know, I thought she was Japanese. Yeah. She was doing all those Japanese too, promotions. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, the first song I remember is um, ID Peace B. Oh, I remember yeah. watching that video yeah. and I was yeah. like, that song's pretty catchy. And I was like, yes. Show and then I was like, oh, snap, she is Korean. Like, <laughs> like the first one I remember from watching from her was that Love Bug from, with M4. Right. Yeah, yeah, Love Bug. Yeah, that I love that one. Yes, And I also remember... Watching um, some TFXQ videos oh and Super Junior's Twins Knockout yeah, video. Girl. Oh, girl. Because Vanessa and Melanie showed it to us and we were like, <laughs> what is this? We thought, me and Julie thought Hicho was a girl. <laughs> yes, the way he, he had that, the extensions. He was so crazy. And he was just like, fabulous moves. I was like, <laughs> yeah. Hair. 
Oh, that ooh. was not nice. But, and it was curled up too. And Don, it sounded like everybody's hair was a hot mess in that video. You right, Donkey. Oh. I, I did not. I love. He did that hair on him. His hair was oh, that, no. was <laughs> that was a mess. But yes, I didn't really, really get into K-pop until I was on YouTube searching some rain videos, and then I saw something on the side that said seven. You saw Seven on the side. I saw Seven's passion video on the side, and I was like, what is this? Who's Seven? So I clicked it, and I just, I was like, oh my gosh, I am in love. You know, this is my man. This is forever. That is my man. He is my ultimate bias. <laughs> that man is my man. And okay. I'm just, I just became obsessed with Seven. I looked at, I watched like all his videos, and I was just like, yes, this is the one. <laughs> he yes. is the one. Yes, but yes, that is how I got to K-pop. All right, yeah. All right. Okay, my turn. What's your name is? My name is, uh, huh. Hey, everybody. My name is Melanie, and I am the second oldest of us four. Well, there's, you know, there's four of us, and I'm yes. the second oldest. And my fact is, <laughs> y'all, y'all know this. I love socks. No. <laughs> 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 what you I don't know. <laughs> I wear socks all the time. I have so many she different sure socks. Do. I love socks. I love wearing them. They just make me She's feel comfortable. Like... <clears throat> and I just love them. It's all like right. I rarely see her feet. That's how much she <laughs> loves socks. And she be painting her toenails. And she just puts socks. Shut up. <laughs> she don't show just... her toes. I don't know why she paint her toenails. <laughs> You know, just in case I might have to show them, then, you know, <laughs> won't be some braggity or whatever, you know? Right. <laughs> just, you know, preparation. Yeah. Even though I might not show it all the You're time. Right. <laughs> <laughs> gotta, <clears throat> gotta get up. <sighs> Dogging on my toes. Anyways. <laughs> yes, I love socks. And I got into K-pop same time around as them, you know, but didn't really get into it until, like, 2006. Mm -hmm. um, but like the first memories of K-pop for me that I remember is like when <laughs> me and Vanessa, our older sister, we were watching like uh, random Shinwa videos on YouTube. Just like any random Shinwa videos. It's just, it's just really random. Like when they're on that show Love Letter or X-Men, yes. yes. those clips. Watch those <laughs> videos, low quality videos on YouTube, but no yeah, subs. Jams. Yes. jams was the jam. No though. subs. <laughs> low quality. <laughs> yes, they were low quality, but you know we still watch it. I mean, we would, we would stay up late at night watching Shinwa videos. I was like, oh my god. <laughs> and then I don't know. Then that somehow led to me finding about finding out about Fly to the Sky. And I remember yeah, listening yeah, to <clears throat> Missing You and Condition of My Heart. And I was like, oh my gosh, I got to find more songs from them. So I looked them up and then I guess it was someone's playlist. And I was looking. Then I saw something like DBSK and DBSG. And I was like, what is this? The this, one. this sounds <laughs> weird. And then I like, clicked on some of their songs. It was the first song I think I heard from them was uh, Whatever They Say. Oh, that one. And then their Japanese oh. song, My Destiny. And I was yeah. like, girl. And then Hug. And I was like, oh my God. And then girl. I was like, this is it. <laughs> they are the ones. That's the one <laughs> for you. And then I that me some that sent me on this K-pop journey. Yeah. Yes, girl. <sighs> Super Junior was like one of the first K-pop groups that I kind of got into. Because I remember they were the first... Um, I found a forum for them, and I was like, <laughs> "Yeah, I was I like, think I, remember I joined. That. that was like my first K-pop for forum that I joined for an artist." And then when I was like, popular back and then I remember off. telling them, I was like, "I was like, hey guys, I joined the Super <laughs> Junior forum." <laughs> and we're like, "Okay, I know, no. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, I kind of like CG. I was like, like that into them, but I like them. Mm -hmm. I like their music. And mm -hmm. Shiwan was my favorite because mm -hmm. you know he still is, you know." Mm -hmm. But yeah, right. I just wanted to say that because you know. yeah. Well, and then Big Bang came along, and I was like, "Whoa, <laughs> yes, Big that's the one." Woo and woo. But yeah, remember we used to like sign up on like so many different forums. And yeah, stuff. and forums mm -hmm. aren't even that like nobody really goes on them anymore, which is kind of like, sad. It's but, weird. You know, it's weird because people still make them. Yeah. But yeah, it's like but no one, I feel like no one really goes on them. They just, well, people that we, you know, know, we don't really. True. Maybe, you know, there's still a, 
a bunch out there that yeah. still does swarms, mm-hmm. but you know, now, well, for, for me, for us, like, it just stopped. It just stopped. <laughs> like, for, oh, we just want know. things, like, quickly now, like, yeah. or, like, you know. We don't feel like we digging our, in our, we get our, and stuff. We get our news from, like, Twitter and, like, blogs and stuff. Yeah, fan sites and all that. Tumblr. <laughs> true, true. Soompi. Yeah. yeah Those kind of sites like that. Because, like, back then for K-pop fans... Oh, yeah, it was a struggle. Forums, so forums were, like, it stuff. for us. Yeah. Like, even music, you go on a forums and just look them up mm-hmm. and try to find like videos and everything shows and stuff yes, like you torrents right. you go on you go on forums and like but now they're just like yes, everywhere you can, yeah, yeah you can just get it like that now get yeah. it from youtube youtube youtube, YouTube. blew up mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. that's what did it it's a big thing k-pop now mm-hmm. that's where you get all your k-pop from mm-hmm. yeah. mm-hmm. woo woo Uh, Going down memory lane. Uh Oh gosh. So many memories. It's been so long. (laughs) It has. I know. Well, all right. We hope that you learn a thing or two about us and, you know, our little history with how we got to K pop. Right? Right, right, right. right. And like I said earlier, we've got a lot of topics that we're going to talk about on today's show. Yeah. Such as, you know, K pop artists that you should know Mm -hmm. and latest k-pop releases and debuts of this year mm-hmm. and also news like wonder girls coming back oh my gosh, oh my gosh. <laughs> sully leaving fx what? question mark and brave brothers making his official american debut question mark question mark yeah. <laughs> but before we get down to that let's get down to our first playlist all right which is our k-pop throwback 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 so the songs for this week are TVXQ's Rising oh Sun, <laughs> Flight to the Sky's Missing You, and Seven's Passion. Yes. So we hope you all enjoy these songs. Everybody. Welcome back. If you're just now tuning in, hey, how you doing? How y'all doing? Hope you're liking doing? the show so far. Mm-hmm. Right now, I'm going to tell you guys about an artist that you guys should know. Like, you guys really need to know about this artist because they are really good. Okay? Mm-hmm. So, the first artist I am going to talk about is none other than Speak Up. <gasps> yes. <laughs> We so did not plan that. <laughs> We're just like, anyway. Yes. All right. Let me tell you guys a little bit about Speaker. Mm-hmm. Speaker is a five member girl group under B2M Entertainment. Mm-hmm. The group consists of Kim Boa, mm-hmm. Park Shi Hyun, Park Nare, Yang Juan, and Kim Bo Hyung. Yes. And the group's fan club name is Mercury. 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 Yes. So Speaker made their debut in early. 2012 with their song Russian Roulette. Mm, yes. That was my jam. Yes, that song was pretty good. Mm-hmm. And they released their debut mini album with the same name. And they also later released a repackage of it called Painkiller. Oh, that's my jam. Yes, yes. that song is really good as well. Yeah. In 2013, they released their single called Tonight, which, you know, made them a little bit more known. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that song was the jam. Yes, because Lee Hyori helped them with the song and the music video. And she also starred in music mm-hmm. video. And, you know, her husband helped as well. And in 2014, you know, 2014 was a pretty good year for Speaker. They released um, a retro single called You Don't Love Me. Oh, that's right. Yes. I almost forgot about that. Yes. That's my jam. That's my jam, too. <laughs> <laughs> that video was so random, but it was really good. I know, it was. Yeah, they did pretty well in the charts as well. They almost <laughs> won number one for that. Did they? They oh, did. Mm-hmm. I was so happy for them. I know. That would have been a good one, though. Too. I was like, oh my gosh, they're nominated. But, you know, they got third place. But it's okay. Because, you know, they, they was up there. That's right? Right. up there. Yes. I'll be happy to be <clears throat> third place, too. <laughs> <laughs> right? And, you know, in the summer of 2014, Speaker, they released their very first all-English single called I Did It. Yes. <laughs> oh my gosh, that gave me so many feels. That song, <laughs> that song was just slayed all over the place. Right? I was so surprised by that. I was like, their English is really good. Right. And it was a jamming song. Like, it, it was, was. alright. I was like, 
And they still they belted out them vocals like, right. mm, you know. Yeah, the video was, you know, it, was a little, it wasn't that, you know, extravagant, but it was simple. It was simple. bland. <laughs> it, it was, was simple true, with dancing true. and they look good in their outfits, yes. right? Yes. Yes. And, you know, they released that song for their U.S. debut is what they called it, but, you yeah. know, they didn't really do promote. anything. Yeah. They didn't really promote. <laughs> they went to K-Con, though, they which was did. pretty cool. They performed it over there in KCOM. They also sing their hit songs like Painkiller and Tonight and all that, you know? Yes. They even sang an um, acapella medley. You know, oh my gosh, you know, yes. Their acapellas are just, their medleys are just so awesome. You guys really need to listen to their acapellas and medleys. Listen to their... Um, <coughs> the cup song. Yes. yes. Oh my god. They That's my slayed favorite. that mess. Like, slayed it. So just look <laughs> it up. Speak a cup song. It's gonna be there. Yes. I have made a I made a playlist on my YouTube called Spick a Slay of all the cover songs. <laughs> yes. <laughs> because they're so good. And also later in 2014, they um, formed the group's very first subunit called Spick a S. And it consists of yes. four out of the five members. Mm -hmm. The leader, Boa, was set to debut solo later that year after the subunit's activities, but nothing has been released and B no. B2M never really said anything else about it. Still waiting on it, but you yeah. know, it's all right. And nothing, they, I don't know what's going on with that. <laughs> but then, towards the end of the year of 2014, they released a special single for the fans called Ghost. Oh, yes. Yes. That's like, nice. huh? <laughs> it's kind of like yeah. a sad ballad song. Yeah. yeah. I remember. Okay. Yeah. I, yeah. I liked it, though. They did not promote it, was it nice. though. Yeah, they yeah. did not promote it, sadly. At least it was something <clears throat> out of just, like, we heard something from them. Yeah. I felt like it's been a while, you know, after You Don't Love Me. Yeah. Like, the whole group as a whole. Mm hmm So, yeah. Yeah, we've been trying to keep up with Spicka, you know, because they, they post a lot on Instagram. They do. They do. They're just really active on Instagram. Like, Boa does, like, all... She does, like, stuff for, like, other groups. You know, she's still doing that, like... the Producing back music and for other people and stuff. Yeah, doing that backtracking... What is it called? The back vocals. Yeah. Back up. Back oh, up. Back yes. Vocals. I, like, still does that. <laughs> I don't know. Back she still track. does that for other artists as well. And, you know... The others are just like traveling by themselves. Aren't some or, of them like, acting? Yeah, G One. She she had her own um, drama oh. that just finished called Divorce, Divorce Lawyer in Love or something yeah, like yeah. that. Oh, yeah. Right. I think there's 18 episodes. Mm. And Nare, she's um, she's done like cameos, right? Yeah, she's done some cameos. Movies. She did a o oh, dramas, a OST song, <laughs> 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 and she's like on this little beauty show that shows on YouTube called True Beauty Show. She does like oh, yeah, like makeup okay. and stuff. And Shishun, she was, hasn't been really doing anything, but like lately, she's gonna be on a show called Secret Weapon with like all these other what? other girl group idols. Oh, okay. Didn't it show already? Yeah, the first episode show? showed already. What is it about? I'm not really sure. <laughs> like the girl, the, <laughs> they just like show their secret Things, I don't know. <laughs> Qualities or personality. Oh, yeah, so things. that's why it's called secrets. Something like that. Whatever. I don't really know what it's about, but yeah. yeah maybe someone will su sub that or whatever. Hopefully, because yeah, that so. seems interesting. Mm -hmm. But yeah, Spica is known for like their powerful vocals and amazing harmony. Mm -hmm. They've done several cover songs, as we said before, and they show up that, you know, it shows off each member's individual vocals, you mm -hmm. know, like how they can... <laughs> Blend it all together and yes. just sound so yes. beautiful, you know? Wondrous. Heavenly. I can't think of anything. I was going to say, like, a beautiful... <laughs> Thing. <laughs> I don't know, it's just beautiful. Something beautiful. <laughs> there you go. But yes, we just love, love Spick, and we really hope that they make a comeback soon. Yes. But one fun fact about Spicka is that the member, Nare, she has a pet bearded dragon. Yes. Oh yes, yeah, that thing is. Yeah, it's kind of cute though. I saw her like <laughs> posting Instagram videos. She had it on a leash and stuff. I'm yeah, like, she taking it out for a walk. I'm like, you can yes, do that, girl. <laughs> its name was Brad Pitt. But oh my god! <laughs> later, she found out that it was a girl, so she changed its name to Jolie, like yes. Angelina oh, Jolie. Oh, okay. 
yeah she'd be posting so silly about it on instagram and stuff so yeah that's kind of cool yeah, i guess it's, cool. it's unique yeah. for a pet yeah it yeah. doesn't use for a girl pet. or you know yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. i like that it has a leash though right <laughs> i'm like girl what you all right <laughs> but yes that is Bika, and you guys should check them out go do watch the music videos go watch their performances Google them. go watch everything about Spica. just look up everything download their music do it now now Okay, so now we will talk about some debuts of this year so far. There was um, G Friend with Glass B, yeah. One Ooh. Punch with Turn Me Back, them, them two little, little rapper boys duo. with the re- with the little <laughs> the dreadlocks, retro, yeah. you know, mm-hmm. yes. Yeah. And Rubber Soul with Life, that is our jam. Yeah. yeah, that's like a song of happiness. happiness. Uh. Yes. <laughs> featuring Mad Clown, right? Yes. yes. And then there's a CLC with Pepe. That oh, song yeah. was really, dun, 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 dun. yeah, <laughs> jamming. And then there's the arc with the light. Oh yeah, that was like a that really a sad music video. Mm-hmm. And the song is really uplifting, yeah, encouraging, you know? encouraging, mm-hmm. uplifting, cheerful. And there was oh my girl with Cupid with that little that bass drum line. Yeah, yeah, okay, that's a pretty jamming song. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, it's catchy. And there's Romeo with Lovesick. I haven't really heard it, but you know, I've seen it a few times on um, Inkigayo. Is that the, the one? That boy group. Um, do you know how it goes? No, but we said, <laughs> um... <laughs> no. <clears throat> I can't remember right now, but we, I remember we said it's kind of like their song or like their concept kind of gave gave off like a boyfriend. Isn't that yeah, one that okay. goes like, na, 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 oh, whoa. No. I Is can't remember. <laughs> If it has that boy, if you if it has that boyfriend yeah. feel, <laughs> then yeah. The beat goes da 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 da. Yeah, oh, that's is it the that one? one. I think so. Sounds familiar. And then there's Monster X with Trespass. Oh yeah. Them boys from Starship. I was like, I don't know. I was like really interested in their debut. No, but the song to me was okay. I don't know. This is okay to me. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's just that that one part's like do do blah blah do do blah blah da. <laughs> Catchy to me, you know. Yeah. And then there's N Flying with Awesome FNC's new boy group. Oh, okay. Band. Yeah. Are they a band? Yeah, a band. They're like a band. band. Yeah, because cause, they're playing instruments. Yeah, because I saw that we watched that rerun on Inky Gaio. It's like, oh, I didn't know there's, they're a band, band. There's four of them. All right. Yes, and then last but not least, Seventeen with Adore You. Oh, Lord, all them boys. <laughs> I know, and they're so young. They're like babies. Yes, girl. The youngest one was born in 1999. Oh and my I was god! Like, Don't get me started. I was like, get away from me. Please. But their song is so catchy. It is. I, I ain't gonna love lie. It. I wasn't gonna. I, okay, I don't want to sound mean or anything, but I wasn't really expecting much from them. Like yeah. because I felt like uh, it would be too overwhelming for me. Because there's so many of them. But then like Suju because, came out before. I know, that I know right? With 13. But so. I thought this group <clears throat> since they're called 17. I thought they're gonna have 17, right? right? But there's 13. Yeah. Right? Maybe they started off as 17 members, but then, you know, yeah, some people left or yeah. they cut some people out, mm. you know. Yeah, they were saying what their name means. Like, there's 13 of them. And talking about, like, there's three <laughs> units and then they're... Okay. But they're and one they're tr- team. So, uh, they're thir- trying to... 13 plus 3 equals 16 Please. plus 1 is 17. Oh, okay. <laughs> Please. <laughs> they're just trying to make something out of it. But anyway. Well, you never know. I, know. I don't know what the three units are, but... Maybe the hip hop, the, the ballad, and the, the dance. You know. The dance. Bam. 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 <laughs> the dance. Oh my god. So let me ask you guys, what is your favorite debut of this year so far? Well, for me, I really like like all the girl groups debut songs this year. Mm-hmm. But if I had to pick a favorite favorite, it would have to be the arcs. The light, Girl. me too. Because I love the fact that it's like an uplifting song, mm-hmm. and you know, plus they can dance. Yes, right. Right. Like one of the members, the leader, Minju, right? Mm-hmm. She is the dancer. Yeah, she's the main dancer. Like, I saw dance practices of them dancing to boy groups, and like oh, they were yeah. slaying it. Yes. And like, I was just, I was just so fascinated. I was like, this group. They're so in sync and everything. Yes, I've been. I've seen like there's like a lot of fan cams of them like at fan events dancing to like 
EXO and BTS songs, and they can really hit it. They can hard. get like, into it. They're like, in sync and stuff. But you know the 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 style for the song, the the I don't know what their stylists were thinking. I don't know. I mean, I think it's okay to me. Like, I don't know what would you other clothes. What yeah, type of concept <laughs> would you use for that type of song, though? But not, not big baggy clothes. I mean, and like sweatbands. What's that? Maybe they're trying <laughs> to for the song. Like maybe they're trying to give off a cool look. Like they're a cool group, not I like know, a pretty yes, pretty. It doesn't but not go for with that song. song. Yeah, that's what's true. Yeah, right. not, especially the Maknae Jane. I don't, well, for her, like, I don't know what they be doing with her. I don't know. But her stylists just don't <laughs> care for her. Like she's like she's wrong? the youngest. We're just gonna put anything like, on her. I don't know. She'll grow up to be, you know, like a big, not big. <laughs> <laughs> She'll grow up to be like nice and get all her womanly curves and stuff. So mm-hmm. then they'll dress her better. <laughs> yeah, but she's still the baby, so mm-hmm. I guess it's okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but for me, it's them. Yeah, the uh, the arcs, <clears throat> the light. Yeah, I was gonna say the same thing. I like the art too because that's it's a pretty German song, and I like how it's so like uplifting and so mm-hmm. like positive yes. and all that. Sometimes you need that positive I song know. every now and then. Not just about heartbreak or about love or you know or you know about being Opa and all that. <laughs> or right. you know like a cocky song like "All About Me." Oh, yeah, it's all about me. <laughs> <laughs> Forget about you. Forget about you. It's, it's all, all about, about me. <laughs> Ooh, someone write that down. <laughs> right now, we're going to have to make a song. No, say that. that. Oh, like, oh. Ashley. <laughs> oh. Stupid. But yeah, I like that song, too. And another one was, a, I liked Rubber Soul. Because yes. they gave off that old 90s feel. Mm-hmm. 90s hip-hop feel. That old school feeling that, like, well, you can't see me dancing, <laughs> but it's like, it's like yeah. you know that, you like, groovy, your head to it. that cool vibe, that old... Cool hip hop yeah, vibe, you know. Yeah. And their outfits match with the song. Yeah. Yes. Their style is like old school too, with the ba- yeah, baggy pants. Their hair style's a bit crazy, but you know. <laughs> That's a little bit. With little the little, bit. little little tiny curls sticking Curly out. Curly bangs. I don't know have, what that is. Did they have the little cornrows too? Yeah. Yes. And like, did they have earrings or like the big hoop earrings? Yeah. And like yeah. sweatbands. Yes, yeah, had some sweatbands. Someone had a backpack on, but you right. know. Right. <laughs> and it's also an uplifting song too. Right? Yeah, it is. It sure is. It's like it's about life that. and stuff. It's life a chill, and the uplifting song. Happiness. Song. Song, 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 happiness. Yes. Slay. <laughs> you know that whole part's in English, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, but yeah, I like their debut too. Mm-hmm. That's pretty good. Yeah. yeah. Same as me as well. I like the arts. The light. It's really good. The art. I've I've been really interested in them lately. Me you know, too. I watched some of their, sh- like, some, like, shows of them and stuff, and how, you know, get to really know the members, stuff like that. And, you know, I can't wait for their next comeback in what they're I know. Yeah, their concept. And I also like Rubber Souls, because, you know, we've been seeing their performance, and I was like, that song's pretty jammy, you know, I like it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right? You know, all the debuts so far are, you know, pretty good. Mm-hmm. Okay, so now we were talking about the latest releases of this month. It's officially summertime, so you yes. know there's some summer jams coming yes. out, right? Right. And you know, there's um Mama Moo who recently came out with Um Oh Ah Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And that song yeah. is very nice and it's very, very catchy. It's very so catchy. It's got that nice upbeat, you know, mm-hmm. dance retro beat, you know. Well, no, they always have catchy songs, they you do. know, since their debut has been like really upbeat and like dance and, you know, just, you know, just, and just fun slay. songs, you know, yes. and they can slay those vocals too. Yeah, yeah. They, sl- they always slay us with those harmonies and high right. notes, you know, the concept for the song though was really, it was kind of unexpected, you know, yeah. you know, like, but it went with the song. Yeah. But, you know, because the members, some of the members portrayed themselves as males. And, it's you know, something different. That's what yeah. I love about them. They're, they they always have things. something different. Mm-hmm. It kind of, like, throws you off. I'm like, what? But I like it. Yeah. <laughs> they can pull it off, you know? Yeah. Yes, like, exactly. They can pull <sighs> off every, anything. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The, video, the video and concept was very, very good and interesting. Yes. Right. And then next, there's Teen Top, who came back Woo! with that super... 
upbeat song called Ah Ah.、Mm-hmm. That song is very fast paced, but it's, you know, very, it's very, very fun. And very teen top. Yes, and summery, got that summery feel to it. The dance, though, is outrageous. <laughs> that leg work, though. Yes, I'm、it's, jealous of their fast footwork. This is <laughs> just as bad as was it now? Rocking. Rocking. It's like, how、But、this you... one's more like just kick, 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 kick. <laughs> like, how do you learn that? That's what、right? I'm saying. You must slow it down for you. Like, <laughs> one, two, three. <laughs> one, two, three. Right. And then you do it, do it ten times faster than that. It's like, <laughs> I don't、yeah. know. They, they must have like really strong legs. Because if I tried to、leg、do a dance, I would probably get a leg cramp or twist my ankle. <laughs> I know. I, I twist both my ankles when I jump. The, my first jump. Girl. Ooh, I would hurt myself just even trying to do that. So I'm not going to try at <laughs>、no. all. I'm just going to watch them do it because. Yes. Because they、yeah. can slay. Yes, that song. I love that song though.、Mm-hmm. The next song is Sis Star. Who came back with another summer jam、yes. called Shake It? Shake It. This song will just have you sing it and dance it along to it in no time. Especially that na 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 part.、Mm-hmm. Na 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 na. Oh, yeah, Sam.、Mm-hmm. <sighs> yes, it's super catchy and it'll get stuck in your head because you know it's just, it's just super catchy.、Mm-hmm. Sister can always bring those summer songs. Yeah, yeah that's what I was gonna say. It's like the third year in a row or something, t h e y r e a l l y like. Summertime jams or something. Yeah, like Loving You was、yeah. one, and then Touch My Body,、mm-hmm. and now Shake It. Like, yes, yes and we are gonna shake it. And it's like, we're gonna, so. Yeah, and it's like, we're gonna expect a summertime jam from them every year now. Like,、yes. you better come with、you、it, sis or.、Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> Other recent releases are、um, AOA Heart Attack. BTS Dope, Verbal Jin,、mm-hmm. and Sanchez doing it. Oh my it. god. j a y e n who released. Chayun, Obvious. You know what? After a five year hiatus. Right. I, was like, I did not know she came back. And I was like, oh my God, get it, girl. Wasn't her last song <coughs> Shake or Shake It? Well, she shake- released something in 2010 called Look. Something with Look. Oh, how does that go? I don't, I don't remember because the last song I remember is Shake. Yeah,、okay. that's the last song I remember was Shake. Yeah, which was released in 2009. But、mm-hmm. if you don't know c h a y u n she's like the sexy. Dancer, she's a little singer. Yeah, she's a <laughs> veteran singer. She's been、is. out for a really long、mm-hmm. time. She's been out for a while. So, you guys should check out her other songs as well. And Big Bang is back、Lord. with their D singles, If You and Sober from their Made series.、Lord、If You is like a ballad, sad, really sad song, is why she said. And Sober is supposed to be like a summer. Song. Summer jam. Summer、oh、jam. Yeah, so lots of summer jams <coughs> coming out、mm-hmm. and being、yes. released. Because, you know, it's officially summer. Time to turn up the jams, you know. Summer jams. Summer Roll down jams. Down the windows. Yeah. Summertime turn. Okay, so let's go on to our next playlist, which consists of Mama Moo's Um Oh Ah Yeah,、mm-hmm. Teen Tops Ah Ah,、mm-hmm. and Sister Shake It. Yeah. Welcome back, guys. If you're just tuning in, we're a little bit more than halfway through the show, but that's all right. We're all just right. glad you're、uh, tuning in and listening to us.、Mm-hmm. All right, and now I am going to talk about some recent K pop news that's、uh, been going around. Okay,、mm-hmm. this first one is the Wonder Girls comeback. Yeah. Oh my gosh, guys. Finally. It's been like、yes. three years since their. Uh, come back with like this.、Oh、They're from their mini album Wonder Party. Yes. yes. That seemed、oh、like ages ago, like、right? centuries ago. <laughs> It's only been three years, but it feels、right. so much longer than that. Yeah.、Mm-hmm. But yeah, anyways, according to an article from Soompi.com, okay, this is what they said at first. It was first reported that Wonder Girls will be coming back as five, including Sun Ye and Sun Mi. But then JYP Entertainment responded back saying that nothing has been decided and that Sunny was only in Korea for personal reasons, not for a Wonder Girls comeback.、Yes. And then another article came out later、yes. stating that、uh, JYP Entertainment officially confirmed that the Wonder Girls are coming back. 
as a praise. Yes, praise. As a four group member, <clears throat> as a four member group, sorry, with Sun Me. Yes, yes Sun Me. Yes. So she's like coming back. She's like one of the original Wonder Girls. And right. I was just like, like, I'm so happy that, she, that she's uh, joining them as a group now. Yeah, I'm oh, just yeah. glad that Sun Me decided to stay in JYP too. Yeah. yeah. Even the, yeah. Like, even you though know? she left Wonder Girls and then she debuted solo and you now she's, she's back. Well, she's back. Yeah. That is just to win it. Wrist clap. Wrist clap. Wrist clap. Wrist clap. Wrist clap. Wrist clap. Oh my gosh. Yeah. But then they also stated, JYP Entertainment also stated mm -hmm. that they're coming back as a band. Like, what? playing their own instruments. Right? Oh my god. So like, Yan's gonna be on the keyboard. Mm -hmm. Halen's gonna be on the guitar. You've been on drums and Sun Me on bass. Oh my god. Right? So yeah. Yeah, I remember seeing like a little post on Twitter. Like, the Wonder Girls, like, they kind of gave out hints on their Instagram. Cause like, oh, did they? Cause like, You've been took a picture. You, she didn't take a picture with drums, but like, she had like a microphone with her and she was just taking a selfie. And it, I don't know, Aww. some people said that like, she was practicing drums. And then there's Yayan Heartfelt. Heartfelt? Heartfelt. Yes. She posted on her Instagram like some lyrics that she was writing. It Aww. looked kind of like faded out. Like washed out. <laughs> yeah. Oh. It's like, girl, like, can you read that? But like at the top, you can see like an English title that said Remember Now or something. Oh, goodness. So that I might be the name I of the song. I think I saw that picture. And oh. then uh, Sun Me, she posted like this little Lego figure of like a lady, a little Lego lady mm -hmm. with like a guitar or bass guitar oh, and then hey that's, Lim that's interesting that's funny. and then Lim she posted like she posted like a picture of like a potato chip that's kind of shaped like a heart but she was like holding it and like you could see her legs and like like she was practicing for something because you know it's like microphone cords and stuff oh. so hmm. that's probably you know hmm, that's what some people are saying so yeah, how do y'all feel about this comeback with Sun Me without Sunye as a band? Yes. What do y'all think? Yes, and of course, you know, like Sophie, you know, she left the group. That's, yes. Yeah. When did she leave? Like 2000. I think I read she left around 2013. That's all I was thinking. When their contracts ended. Mm -hmm. So yeah, she's no longer in Wonder Girls, but she's, she's Wonder thing. Girls in. In Wonderful's heart. Wonderful's yeah. heart. She's yeah, still right. Wonder hardcore Girl. Wonderful. Yeah. But their comeback as four and being a band, you know, like being a Wonder Girls fan since the beginning of time. Of time. Yes. <laughs> I was. I was like, they were the first girl K-pop girl, girl group that I got into. The one when Hyuna yeah. was still in there. Me too. Right. <laughs> and I was. I just like. I really love them. So when I heard about this, I got very excited. Like my wonderful, wonderful feels, just like I know. I was like, Bloom. I saw this article, and I was like, Ashley. Right. <laughs> she was reading the article, and I was getting so excited. She started it. sweating. I was like, Oh, girl, <laughs> girl, well, I was huffing and puffing. You ain't lying. <laughs> <laughs> but like finding out, like reading that they're coming back as a band, like I don't know how I feel about that, but it's like. It's new. It's a new experience. Yeah, fresh. A new refreshing experience. It, yeah, because like, I wanted to see them come back with like a powerful dance song, you know, with like a yeah. catchy, catchy like dance they've that they've been always doing, been doing. You know, but you know, retro it's, song. it's, I guess it's pretty interesting to see them try new things. Yeah. So, yeah. who but, knows how long they've been practicing. Right. Yeah. It could be True. like really, really good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just have to wait like, and see. I don't know, like, uh, Maybe Sunmi can like flip her guitar around. <laughs> oh, she gonna have her uh, just she a solo. Like, well, she plays bass. She plays the bass. So she's gonna be like, doo, no. doo, doo, doo. <laughs> hey, Lim's gonna. She, she gonna, gonna have be, that guitar. She's gonna be boy around and yeah. flip it around her yeah. body and catch it. Keep going with that. The Yuba's gonna be like <laughs> flipping the yeah. drums. Yeah, sticks, yeah like, like bam, 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 bam. Yeah. And then Yan's so, gonna be on the keyboard like bang, 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 bang. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, they're all gonna have a solo in the song, <laughs> all right? They, they but have to. But you know, to. JYP, they, he loves to have them random dance solos in the right. middle of the song. That don't even like, don't like even the beat don't match. <laughs> no, watch, they're gonna be dancing with their instruments, right? Oh, even yeah. you, Ben. <clears throat> I don't know how, but she's gonna she do it. She's gonna grab a, a cymbal. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> she grabbed grab the oh symbol and the, and the drum set and like, oh bam, my gosh. Bam. Yeah. But yes. Guys, I don't know. But I feel like they're going to slay it anyways because, right. you know, it's JYP and they're Wonder Girls. You know, they have so much history of like being that girl group, just that, that global Yes. Korean group. global global global, global. because they were the first yeah. K-pop group to have a world uh, well, like a US tour. Mm-hmm. They were the first one to try to promote did, in the US. But did they have a world tour? Did they tour? Uh, I know they had that US tour that we went to. Yes, <laughs> right. Yeah, and we took a picture with it. Lord ah! help me. But <laughs> yes. I don't mean to brag, but you know, yeah. it's just. Uh, that was just that was a really great night. It was. It really because we also saw two p.m. as well. Oh my god! Yes, don't. Do but it. yes, we're getting sidetracked. Woo! But like you were saying, they're one of the first K-pop girl groups to ever, well, K-pop groups to ever venture out and do like an American debut. I remember reading that their song. They're the first like Korean group to ever make it to the Billboard. Hot 100s or something? Oh. I think for that's which what it's song? Called. Nobody. Nobody. Oh, duh. Because that was like the craze. I'm it sure. Was. That I'm was. Sure. That song, uh, you know, if you don't, if you're in K-pop and you don't know nobody, then I don't know what's wrong with you. Then we don't know you. No. <laughs> <laughs> of course we don't know you, but. But yeah. Well, like they toured with the Jonas Brothers first. Mm-hmm. That's when Sunmi yeah. was still in the yeah, group. Yeah, Sunmi was still in the group. And then they had their. U.S. tour, but when did Sunny leave? Cause we, cause we it was probably like, after that. It was right? like around two thousand nine. Yeah. Oh, okay. Because they came here in two thousand ten, and yeah. Lim joined the group. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And they came back with two different tiers. Yeah, mm-hmm. you're right. You're right. You're right. And Lim, she was getting it in that concert with her right. song. Was, I could tell she was nervous though. Yeah. But. She's, She's so, so cute, though. So she was. She was Speaking that English, I was like, you better I get it. Know. Girl. <laughs> She's saying yeah. lip gloss. Her lip gloss was popping. Lip gloss was popping. Yes. Yeah, and you know, Sun is not, Sunny is not being a part of this comeback, mm-hmm. which is understandable because, you know, she still She's, has her child who's still young. Has she has a family. family. Yeah, she has a family that she, <laughs> has, she needs to take care of them first because yes. family comes first. Family comes first. Mm-hmm. All the time, always. Yeah. We're so excited because we we've known Wonder Girls history and you know, we're just very excited for this comeback that they're going to have. Yes. I can't wait. Me I'm so too. excited. I, I just wanna know how it's gonna be like I can't wait till teasers and stuff come out. Oh my right. god. Right. It's really? gonna be it's gonna be those solos with like you and German. <gasps> oh my god. And the next teaser's gonna be Yenny. <gasps> the next teaser. I hope so, Ashley. Oh my god. They Watch even, it. No. They didn't even like uh, say like a date or anything. They just said they're gonna come back. I read like, August third. August? Oh, gosh. that's I don't I don't remember what article that was, but I remember reading it said August third. <laughs> so I hope that's the date and JYP doesn't change it. <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> oh yeah, my I'm gosh. very excited. So well, it has to be close since they announced that they're coming back soon. So mm-hmm. I hope so. It's really soon. <sighs> Oh, yes. Okay, next topic is Sully leaving FX. Oh, my oh, God. No. Okay, so. All right. All right. So, according to Soompi again from their article, um, yes, yeah, Sully is reported to be leaving FX to pursue acting. And, you know... <laughs> It says that she will continue with her contract with SM since it's not expired yet. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But then SM responded that nothing has been confirmed about her leaving the group and that her team activities will be decided upon carefully. So, right. I don't know what's the deal with her. SM just be getting my nerves. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, she went on a hiatus like... Really, really shortly after promoting Red Light, right? Yeah, yeah. So they only about promoted that. like, like two weeks. Two weeks. Really? Yeah. That's what I thought, and I was like, and then she's like, oh, I'm gonna go on hiatus for a bit. It's like, girl, it's like, okay, girl, come back here. We should have thought about that before this Red Light. Anyways, but yeah, yeah. many people are saying like, 
It's because of her dating scandal with Choiza that sort of influenced her to leave, but people don't know that. Like, I know they don't could know. be many other reasons. They don't know their story. They don't know their lives. Just right? leave them be. If she's happy, don't just leave right. them be. Leave, her be. leave them be. I know. I hate when people get on idols about dating. Right? Like, Even what if you gonna do? Right? They ain't gonna right. date you. <laughs> you on the other side of the world. Chill out. <laughs> <laughs> Chill out. Yeah, it's like the hate has just like been getting the mu- uh, the most of her like she just couldn't take it anymore Probably. she's just like i need to take a break because these people won't leave me alone i need to get out the spotlight stuff like that mm-hmm. yeah yeah and i think maybe it's because she just sort of just fell out of it and like yeah. didn't want to pursue yeah, music that's anymore. What I, was I was gonna say like mm-hmm. she doesn't like she doesn't really like the idol life anymore. she's not feeling it no more because she yeah. wasn't she wasn't like the main singer of fx or main rapper she yeah. was just like she's kind of like the the, the face, yeah, visual, yeah, so, yeah, visual. Yeah, and she's been like in the industry <clears throat> since she was young, anyway. Right? Yeah, like, she's probably been in SM for like the longest time, training yeah. and you know working. So you know, maybe she's like, I just need this break mm-hmm. or whatever. But. but like, who knows? Like, maybe she probably went into SM wanting to do like more acting and yeah, and they just modeling put in this group. and they're like, yeah. yeah, you're just gonna do music first, and we'll see what we'll do with you after because you know you're too young I, to I be an actress be or a model. You mm-hmm. know, yeah. But I don't know. Yeah, I just wish that like they could have promoted Red Light a little bit longer. Yeah, because mm-hmm. that album was really good. Yes, it was. That really song good. was really good. That song. That album was really good. Jam. I know people are, you know, probably mad at Sully for doing that, but you know, I don't. I don't blame her. It is what yeah. it is now, because you know it's been done and happened already. Mm-hmm. So yeah, if she wants to leave, then best of luck to her. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever she does, you know, do what do what makes you happy, girl. You know. Yeah. I just hope that you know, FX doesn't disband or like they don't add yeah. another member. I just. They should just keep it as four. Yeah, because like if groups that hit like a five year mark yeah, are like already established, you know, they shouldn't add right any more members. So yeah. yeah, yeah. Someone on my Twitter was like, like oh my gosh, is Sony leaving? So they didn't even have a band name, a, a right? fan club oh name yet, God. right? And I'm like. You are so SM, right. SM does, it seems like they don't really. Hair, oh, not care. Not, yeah, not like, like they just care, don't really think about FX. It's like they don't really give them anything. Yeah, they're not as they're not as you know hyped up as the yeah, other groups. Hyped up. Not like <laughs> that one group, but I'm not gonna <laughs> say. <laughs> oh, but we know. <laughs> we know we talked that girl. <sighs> oh, but, but yeah. Um, and some needs to do better with FX. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. And, you know, best wishes to Sully, whatever she chooses to do. Yes. It wouldn't be surprising to hear her actually leaving, but, you know, yeah. it's her decision, you know, best of luck and stuff. Okay, and then this last topic is so random. Like, I just found out about this, and I was like, random? But Brave Brothers... <laughs> The famous producer, songwriter in Korea, mm-hmm. is making his U.S. debut at the BET Awards on June 28th. What? And according to this OK Pop article, he has been working with the rapper YG, uh, Crazy Bone from Bone Thugs and Harmony. Snap! And, <laughs> That's like and you know, crazy. remember B2K, y'all? Yes, girl. B2K. You remember Bump, bump, bump. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he, he was one- my favorite, but I remember. <laughs> I don't, even know. I, I don't even know who my favorite was. <laughs> I forgot how he looked like, but that name sounds familiar. Yeah, I like yeah. that curly, sort of curly okay. thing. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. Well, anyways. And then yeah. they also said his first American track will be out later this summer featuring YG, that rapper YG. Mm-hmm. And, uh, yeah, at the BET Awards, he's going to debut his song, I guess, at the Microsoft Theater mm-hmm. in L.A. on June 28th. And yeah, this to me is so random. random. Like it came out of nowhere. You know what? Because I'm, you know, he is like a producer, songwriter, right? And I'm like, he can rap or what? What is he? he Is he gonna rap? He gonna sing? Like (laughs) I'm, y'all. I thought Brave Brothers was like two guys the whole time. I didn't know it was one dude. Yes, 
this one dude. And I'm like, and then I saw pictures of him. I was like, oh, that's how he looked like. He got <laughs> tattoos all over his body, and he looks so like hip hop. I'm like, okay. Well, I guess he's so, gonna right. rap then, huh? Or probably. I guess so he must. I don't know. I wonder what his how his song's gonna sound. Right. It's gonna have that Cause YG we, rapper too. Like, yeah. Because mm-hmm. we don't have the BET channel, so we won't be yeah. able to watch it. Like, Direct TV, why don't we have the BET channel? <laughs> I don't know. But what cable TV has BET. Like, what? <laughs> yeah. He's made some pretty good songs, though. Yeah, like with uh, Foreman, Sistar, Teen Top. Didn't After he do school, that, uh, Big, Big Bang, Bang You Kiss? Well. Was that him? I'm not I think so. Sure. I'm not sure, but he did do something with Big Bang. Because we listed here, Big Bang. <laughs> I know he did some U Kiss songs. U Kiss, he did a lot of U Kiss songs. Yeah, he did. And After School. Diva. After School, like, yeah. The Ooh, brave that sound in the beginning. Diva, brave Diva, sound. Diva, Diva, Diva. That, that brave sound is like equivalent to like JYP. You yeah. know? Right? That yeah. used to be all that was back in the day in like brave sound. K-pop. Brave yeah. sound. That he electronic did a lot robot of, voice. Yeah. Brave sound. <laughs> He did a lot of people's songs. He did. He did uh, that Minwoo song too. That, that, oh um, yes. Don't that, trust men. Yes. Woo, with, that's a jam. With Big Tom. Big Woo. Tom. I love that song. Yes. But I mean, like I find it so weird because like the BET Awards out of all the right? awards. That's what yeah, I'm saying. I mean, like ain't nothing yeah, wrong. Did he ever release his own songs in Korea? I have no idea. Because I like I don't even really know how he sounds. sounds. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Is what he kind of music sing? he does? Is he gonna mm-hmm. rap? We're gonna find out yeah. later. But I mean, like the BT Awards, I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. I'm just saying, like, I just find it very random. It's just random for, for him to go to debut on there. Mm-hmm. Because I wonder how people are gonna react because they probably wouldn't know him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And he's like a Korean, and he's Korean. And it's like, yeah. Well, I mean, if the song's good, they probably will like him, yeah. you know? Who knows? But, you know, like, venturing off into, like, America trying to do American debuts. That's nothing. That's nothing new to like the K-pop industry. So mm-hmm. if you want to say, but no one has really made it. Yeah, like there were people like Rain and Seven, Boa and Seven, Seven and Girls. the Wonder Girls, and now CL's trying to make a debut yeah. with her yes. song Dr Pepper. And you forgot Song Yoshide did too. Oh yeah, Song Yoshide. You're right. With you're the right. boys. The boys. That was okay. That yes. was okay. <laughs> the English version was okay. That's our jam though. But um, but yeah, like. If he does well, then best wishes yeah, to him. him. You know? They could, you know, open maybe, doors for other K-pop. Yeah, people. maybe he could you know? like produce some songs for some American artists. Yeah, and they true, could be jams true. too. You know, because he has some jams. He do. He do. He Just jams. look him up, and he like for the artists that he produced for, mm-hmm. produce songs for some good songs. But yeah, so I hope his song does well. Mm-hmm. And. Yeah, best wishes to him. Yeah. Good luck. Good yes. luck. Okay, the next playlist is Recommended Jams. Woo! Woo. By us. By us. We all picked these songs. Okay. Mm-hmm. The first one is Gecko and Yankee uh, with Cheers featuring Benzino and Babylon. Yes. The next song is McKay, Angel to Me featuring Jeff Burnett. Yes. And the last one is MFBTY with 6AM. Enjoy! Welcome back guys and if you're now just tuning in you have reached the end of our show. Aww. Aww. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> but before we go, um, I asked our fans from our Talagaga Girls YouTube channel and Twitter if they have any questions for us. And so far, only one person asked. Because, you know, I sort of asked that a little, a little late. So I'm sure not a lot of people like got that tweet tweet or you know video saw mm-hmm. the video. But this one person, uh, my D Knight Sa Saro, I don't know how to pronounce it. <laughs> she don't mess up your name. Sorry, Sorry if I if I mispronounced that. But she basically asked, um, what got you guys into K pop and what were all of your first K-pop videos slash songs? 
And I love your your guys' reaction so much. Every time something comes out, I can't wait to see your reaction. Oh, good. Thank you, girl. Thank you so Thanks. much. But, you know, to answer your question, we sort of answered it in the beginning of our show. Like, what got us into K-pop? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And, like, who got us into What artists got us into K-pop? So, it was, like, Big Bang for me. Seven, seven for, for Julie. Julie TVXQ for me. Yeah. TVXQ for Melanie. But... I don't think I said the first K-pop video or song I got into. That I got into? That you saw? Or that... I remember the first one that I saw. No, yeah, the first K-pop video or song. Like, for me, I don't really remember. But I remember seeing, like, maybe TVXQ's Rising Sun or Rain. Rain's, uh... It's raining. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, maybe that's I have like that the poster right there. It's <laughs> yes, girl, that old poster right there, that's and it still look crisp. Yes, <laughs> I had that poster for like a long time. Yeah, but that those were probably my first videos and song K-pop videos and songs I got into, or saw. But I'm, st- I think you guys. Said yeah, so. I, th- I think for I think I said mine was the first video I remember watching was Super Junior Twins Knockout. Mm-hmm. I think that was like the same for me too, but then then I remember uh, a video that I watched. It was it was on I was on some Filipino forum and oh, they yes. were they're sharing some videos and stuff and then I watched this video. It was Kiss Because oh. I'm a Girl that video. Yes. Yes. That's I'm the first that one. That's the first K pop uh, song video that I remember watching, but I didn't know it was Korean. I was just watching it because I was like, yeah, what is this? That video is sad. It is sad. That was a hit That's song. That's probably too. the first one I saw too, then. Me too, maybe. And, and I, like, I like the song too. It's kind of. I don't know what it's talking about, but it might be a little sad. Sad song. Yeah. It's like a typical, one of those typical um, like a Korean drama. music videos with the all dramatic mm-hmm. and yeah. stuff. Yeah. And love sad. story. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Y'all should watch that one. It's Kiss, K I S S. Because I'm a girl. girl. That's like I think that was like their only hit yeah. song, and it's like a really really popular. That's like song a classic. And video. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But if you guys do watch that, have some tish- tissues by you. I yes. just want to say tish- because it's a pretty it's sad MV. So. Yes. yes. But yeah, that's. Um, our first K-pop video and song videos and songs that we first saw. So yeah, if any of you all have any questions you would like to ask us, feel free to tweet them to us on our Twitter at Talagaga Girls, or comment on our YouTube channel where we will also be uploading this show on on our YouTube channel as well. So when we upload this video onto our channel. Um, leave your questions in the comment section of that video, or you can just leave them in the discussion part of our channel. I'm right. Yep, so leave us your questions, and we just might answer them on our next show. Oh, and the rerun of this show will also stream on A1 Radio on Sunday at 9 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time. Well, that's it for today's show. And we hope you all enjoyed it. Was a doozy. Was a doozy. We had fun. (laughs) But it was fun. Thanks again to A1 Radio for giving us this amazing opportunity. Yes, you get wrist clapped. You You hear that? Wrist clapped. That's a wrist clap for for y'all. For days. (laughs) We can't wait to work more with you guys in the future as well. So, yeah. Anybody else want to say anything? Well, it was fun. Never done like a radio show before, so this is, you know, a new experience. And, you know, I can't wait to do more shows. Yeah. Yes. And thank you guys for listening. If you've listened through the whole thing or mm-hmm. halfway yeah. or thank at you the for end. sticking with us to yeah. the end. We hope we didn't bore you guys, as yes. we said in yeah. the beginning. <laughs> Just thank you for, uh, you know, listening and hope you guys had fun with us. And yeah, hopefully. And tune in to the next show. Yeah. yeah. Hopefully, Hopefully you tune in to more of yeah. our shows later on. Yes. yes. All right. So follow us on Twitter and Instagram at Talagaga Girls and subscribe to our channel, our Talagaga Girls channel, if you like. And if you would like to follow our individual accounts, they are also listed 
on our YouTube channel in the about page. Yes. So you can look click on those. Yes. Check us out. Yes. Please. All right. <laughs> so the last playlist we will play is the Michi Go playlist. Me! You know we had to have a Michi Go right, playlist because right. let's Michi Go, right? Right. right. Yeah. right. So this week's a uh, playlist consists of 2 p.m.'s Go Crazy, 4 Minutes Crazy, and G Dragon's Michi Go. So we will see you guys next, next time. time. Bye, friends. Bye, friends. Bye, friends.